Hello everybody, this is Brian Turner. Um, I was asked to try to create a tutorial on getting the ATI Catalyst, or AMD Catalyst as it says here, drivers for Linux installed, well, you know, for people who want to run GNOME 3 shell uh, under something other than Gallium 3D, you know, for things like gaming and such like that. Uh, admittedly, it's still not release quality, but it does work now, as opposed to previously. So, uh, anyway, as you can see, I have the website open to support.amd uh, forward slash us forward slash gpu download forward slash linux forward slash pages forward slash radeon underscore linux dot aspx. Don't ask me why they had to make that that long. They just did. Anyway, when you go to get this driver, just go to this page, hit the download link. I'll go ahead and skip that because I already have a copy of it on my system. So I'll go ahead and open that up in my downloads folder here. Don't mind all the extraneous junk. Let's see, there should be a .run file here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, once you do the once you have it downloaded, you'll have a file like this. You'll want to right click on it, go to properties, then go to permissions, and make sure you check allow executing file as program. That's important. Otherwise, it won't install. Now, for the sake of brevity and to, because I already have these installed, I'll just go through and show you what the initial screens look like. So, I'll go ahead and start this and tell it to run in terminal and then it'll want to verify the archive and check it and uncompress it. And then it'll want your password which I will not share. Now it's going to tell me that I already have them installed because I do. Uh, I would hit continue uh, but it will probably break my system. I don't know. We'll give it a shot and see what happens. It'll probably give me an error or something to that effect. Or it'll sit there and do a whole lot of... Oh, well, what do you know? Read through this so-called agreement here. And then always choose automatic for your mode of installation. Now, there is going to be a point where this is going to look like it's broken. It's going to get stuck like right here. Let it run. Let it finish. It will complete. Okay, so I was a tiny bit off. Oh, wait. Boy. So this is the point where it sits around for a couple minutes and says, okay, I think I'm going to think for a while. Anyway, getting this installed isn't hard. It will require, once you're done, a reboot. Um, I was going to try and run this under the actual GNOME shell, but that proved to have issues with Record My Desktop, which is the application that I'm using for doing this. It kept showing a, a corrupted desktop which isn't really what I want to be showing you guys. Also, it kept spontaneously refreshing the uh, the user interface. So, you know, that kind of kills the fun. Anyway, I will point out that games run a whole lot better when they're not running under something that is not quite ready for release. So, as you can see, it's finished installing. This is where the log has been has been stored use, forward slash user forward slash share forward slash ATI uh, it's already been configured in basic mode now what they mean by this little bit of information here is they want you to go I forget where that's at other in here always use administrative mode if you actually want to make changes and it will show you this window here. Pardon my uh, cluttered screen. This tells you your system setup, you know, things like that, probably the stuff I don't want to be sharing, but anyway. All looks good. Display manager, notebook panel. Yeah. You may or may not want to 
to enable that. I don't generally enable it because I haven't noticed a whole lot of tearing. Eh, unless I move it around real fast. But, anyway, you may or may not see it. Uh, generally, if you want the best performance, just leave all of these settings as they are. Uh, although I do turn this up and hit apply. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I've already had the I already had the drivers installed, so it shouldn't make any difference. Although I will reboot once I'm done with this video, just to be on the safe side. But anyway, as you can see, this is done. So um, now regarding questions about Gallium 3D, yes, generally if you're running an ATI system and the drivers aren't installed or aren't known to be compatible it will go ahead or I should say the developers have gone ahead and decided to put Gallium 3D in place of the proprietary AMD drivers. Um, what you don't want to do on, a, on an AMD slash ATI based system is the following. You do not want to run this. I mean you can run it but I'll show you what you don't want to do here in a minute. Do not install either of these because they will make it worse. Uh, the, the interface will turn pink, the text will be corrupted, uh, things like that, and it'll do all sorts of weird stuff. Now I would show you some of the still existing bugs under GNOME 3 shell, but I couldn't do it because as I said earlier, uh, for some reason to record my desktop just doesn't want to work so I'm right now running and recording this in fallback mode so anyway so I'm basically done here I hope this is helping if you have questions please don't be afraid to ask and uh, maybe I can improve this at a later date anyway have fun I hope things are going alright for you later